Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out uh, the kill count of the six oh man the, this is the six one of the Tremors movies. A cold day in hell. Well, looks like we're going from the hot scorching sun of Africa to the freezing winds of the Arctic. Now, let's actually see what James has to say before we get into the main uh well announcer. Hey everybody, I'm gonna let Zorn finish it Zorn, a minute, but first I wanted to let you know about the upcoming I'm first sorry. ever Dead Meat Horror Award. We're gonna be Ooh. broadcasting these awards on Sunday, April 3rd at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific. Ooh, It'll be hosted by cool. Chelsea and myself, and we'll be handing out prime rib trophies in eight different categories with six finalists each. Neat. So that's Sunday, April 3rd here on the Dead Meat YouTube channel, and it'll be premiering at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific. And Let's if you can't make that, that premiere, well, it'll be on the channel after that too. Great. Get out of here. <laughs> this is my show now. Right, here we go. Only until June. Only until June. <laughs> He's got one more week. No, wait. Welcome to the kill count. Are we tally up the victims in... Hold on. Correction. Two months and one week left. In all our favorite horror movies, I'm Zoran, kinda looks like Jared Padalecki Gavoyich, and today we Wait, look what? at the penultimate film in this franchise, <laughs> with Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell, released in 2018. Yeah. Now, when I first watched this film, I hated it. But on rewatch, this movie does some things right. right. Michael Gross is back, as is Jamie, my cool. sideburns help me find my mouth Kennedy, who is slightly <laughs> less annoying I, this I time. Get that. Learning can be fun, <laughs> Rosetta Stone me, dog. Slightly. Rosetta also Stone. returning is director Don Michael Paul, who Rosetta this film producer describes as the man with three first names and even screenwriter cool. john welpley does moderately better this time around That's writing ridiculous new birdisms my balls are in the guinness book of balls plus the explosions oh, are as gooey as ever the graboid the cgi is solid and we also get a return of a practical graboid even if the cool. effect isn't as impressive as the original despite oh, all that, that this six tremors movie graboid. suffers from a lack of new ideas no surprise it's the same old show burke gets asked to well, help yeah, out of town in trouble and shit goes sideways, and they MacGyver their way out of the situation. Oh, they try and change- Well, they do introduce something new, but, uh, I'm not gonna spoil that. But let me just say this. Do you remember in one of the Oleo movies when and Bolt was swallowed by a Graboid in a barrel? If you do, then keep that scene in mind things up by showing graboids in snow, but they still filmed cool. everything in South Africa. Oh, okay, more on like that it. later. In a cold day in hell, Bert and his son Travis head to a Canadian research station that's recently been oh. graboided. Along the way, they have graboided? to deal with tax collectors, DARPA agents, graboided. and a mysterious graboid-related illness that oh. threatens to take our only returning character away from this franchise. And but it it'll is. be a cold day in hell before Michael Gross says no to a Tremors movie. Yeah, and it'll be even see. longer before I say no to getting amazing sponsors like our latest one, Fetch Rewards. Fetch is a free app yeah, that lets you earn like rewards on anything you buy. From Bert oh. Oh, okay. survivalist DVDs to genuine ass blaster like eggs. I for one am going to use Fetch no. on some of the Tremors props I ordered, cause there's a lot of them. And since I hmm. bought them online, oh, okay. doing that couldn't be easier. I've synced up my Amazon account with the app, so all I have to oh, do is hit change. the e-receipt button and Fetch will find those orders for me. And scanning <laughs> physical <laughs> receipts is simple okay. too. I went to Best Buy to grab some movies for future kill counts. Ooh. Let's see here. Oh, nope. Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh, I'll be covering this one. Oh, come on. Well, I can still give rewards by taking a picture of the receipt through well, the Oh, I guess that does make sense. I mean, two of those movies are really on, well... Well, I mean, I guess technically John Wick could be a kill count. But I don't see how Endgame would be. But, hey, look at that. James decided to just be like, like, no, Halloween is mine. You can have uh, Friday the 13th. Fetch app, <laughs> and just like that, I've got reward points that I can turn into cool. gift cards for my favorite stores and restaurants. Plus, it oh, works much better sense. than my previous rewards program. Go get the rewards, boy. Go get them. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a fetch <laughs> reward. <laughs> Download the app now and use the code <laughs> DEADMEAT to get 3,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Oh, cool. will this frigid trip to the Arctic cause some shrinkage to our numbers? Let's uh, find out and get to the kills. We're gonna have to find out after this uh, ad. <laughs> Here we go, into the frozen Arctic. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, the frozen southern tip of uh, Africa. 
The movie begins with a rant from me. That is not snow! That is a sand dune! You cannot tint sand blue in post-production and then throw a layer of digital snow over it, He's making right, your you know. South African movie take place in Canada. I'm from Chicago. Canada. I know snow. Hmm. Just film actual has snow. Um, actually, yeah. they did try and film this movie in Bulgaria, but a massive blizzard oh. made it logistically impossible. Oh, so they had Bulgaria. to go back to South Africa so they could make the most of their budget. Oh, thank you, okay. Bella. Well, this is why we hired okay. you, you as researcher. And, thank you know, you. fired that last guy. <laughs> Oh, anyway, oh, I still on. think it looks ah, dumb. Looks but hey, the book. movie continues in Canada, where some hipster science kids lamely lampshade their South African filming location. Yeah. We have a bit of a heat wave in the Arctic. Welcome to the Arctic summer. These nothing Arctic characters summer. get nothing names, eh. with Aussie from Australia, Yankee from America, cool. and cool. Dutch from Norway, even cool. though that Not character bad. should be from the Netherlands. Strike one, well blee. They're drilling for core samples, but end up hitting some pumpkin spice latte instead. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you know what that means. Time Graboid. to cut to the movie Ice Age, before the Graboid uh. bursts through the <laughs> oh, snow uh. and swallows up this little Sheila, taking her back down under. And Next up in the not-so-winter kill Olympics is the American, who's yankied away like a construction worker, ah. and then pulled underground screaming, which- Do people always just wrap a cord around their legs whenever they're walking with a, a, a machinery like this? This is the second guy to have that happen to him. Um, the first one being all the way back in the first movie. Remember the guy on the jackhammer? Oh, his leg was wrapped in it as well. He was pulled along with him. What the hell? Oh, oh, just don't be, just don't have your legs wrapped. Apparently it doesn't affect the acoustics. Nick? Muffled or not, he's another victim of quick snow. These huskies know better than to hang around Norwegian scientists, so they head off to find Cuba Gooding Jr. Meanwhile, Dutch is chased until he falls down a snow dune, and our Molduga bursts from the sand, playing with its food before finishing the job with a kill and a title card. With a subtitle callback to a Burt line from part three. That'll be a cold day in hell. Speaking of back to perfection, we return to the town that has Chang's Market and absolutely nothing else. Since they rebuilt this store yet again, this time in South Africa. And I yeah. will say production designer Andrew Orlando and his team oh, did an sucks. amazing job. There are so many Easter and Ass Blaster eggs hidden here, <laughs> including some more misspellings like in Tremors 3 oh. and Big Don's Ice Cream, an homage to yeah, director okay. Don Michael Paul. Who huh? said vanilla was boring? Vanilla is one of my favorite flavors. Not yeah. better than this Chang Swiss cheese and bull. Even I can just be honest, uh, vanilla is definitely the basic that everyone starts with. And then you spread. I mean, I used to be a vanilla man, but nowadays I prefer also oh, mint chocolate chip. Bullets flavor. Bullets and Swiss cheese. We are reintroduced to our main what character, Gut, hell? and his sidekick, Burt Gummer. Once again, played by the one and only Michael Gross. The one hey, and Michael. only reason I keep watching these films. Oh, For yeah. all these years, the Tremors is the gift that keeps There's giving. No, no, Burt is now no, managing Chang's Market while Jody is working at a law well, firm okay, in the nearby right, town of but, okay. Reno. Ooh, sorry, Bixby. Yeah. I object. To them not saying more about <laughs> Bixby! I object. Though Bert's I a little objection. older now, he's still mostly the same. Give or take <laughs> one Atlanta Hawks hat. See, you've changed teams. No, just hats. It was actually oh, Michael Gross's idea to change Bert's hat. As a former Chicagoan <laughs> like me, he wanted to honor the Cubs, who had just won the World Series for the first time in over yeah, a century. Right. Definitely something to celebrate. Something not to celebrate is huh. that Travis is still right, here too, cool. posing for the boys of the stockroom calendar and not making out-of-date jokes bad. about Bert's tax problems with the IRS. She's been flipping off the feds longer than Wesley Snipes. Oh, to escape Malibu's most annoying, happen. Bert takes a nap on the roof, where oh, he has nightmares you know. about the Tremors franchise taking over his life. Yeah, you and me both, bro. <laughs> you and me both. I made all that. Rebel. His 90s music video is interrupted by a phone call from Dr. Rita Sims. How'd you get this number? You from the government? No, Sims got this number from her <laughs> assistant, Valerie, who's government? a major Tremmy, like me. That's why she's able to spew out loads of Graboid exposition and make a callback to a line right. in Tremors 2. Graboids in the Arctic. This could be a whole new ball game. Graboids yeah, especially Arctic. because it's sand, not snow! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't like sand. You know, it's coarse and rough and irritating. Shut up, Anakin. Much like Jamie Kennedy. You never asked if she was hot. Case Anakin, shut Since up. they need the money to pay Bert's back taxes, Dumb and Gummer right. head to the Arctic. They're flown there by Dumb Mac, who's got homemade grain alcohol to <laughs> quell bad. their nerves. But the in-flight drink service is cut oh, short by go. an Arctic ass blaster. It bottom burps its way into the propeller of the plane, splattering itself Ooh. onto Bert's hunting log. And also Jeez, stalling the engine. Bad. The unfazed Mac makes a very huh. easy emergency landing, despite all the flailing around Bert and Travis 
Travis are doing. When they land, their booze is confiscated by a bunch of DARPA agents. Come on, no. That's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency to save you a Google search. DARPA is up here doing black op experiments. And this main DARPA douche threatens Bert to stay out of his way. Then he whiskers oh, off we back to it? Umbrella. Valerie West, arrives okay. and says yeah. she's here to provide more All continuity right, to the good Tremors movies. Here's a blast from the past, Mr. Gummer. <laughs> I'm Val and Rhonda's daughter. She's the offspring of Rhonda LeBeck and Valentine McKee from the oh! first film. Well, I guess Rhonda was just another victim of Val's circumstance. Nice. I thought you'd call it your pecker. This narcissistically named <laughs> new girl takes Bert and Travis cool. to the Arctic Research Station, which is just filled with a slew of potential kill counties. I thought it'd be colder what than a reindeer's ball bag up here. Hell, I'm hotter than a 50 cal on full auto. <laughs> okay, we get it. The movie was not filmed in Canada. <laughs> Bert loves guns. You I don't like have to that. keep making excuses. Where's all the snow, Dr. Sims? This year in particular has been uh -huh. one of the warmest on record up here. We oh, get it. Shit. Move on. Are you tired of the cold? Do you long for the heat of the Sahara, but don't want to miss out on the charm of a Midwestern polar vortex? Uh, then you should try Sand for Snow. Using our patented yep. Cheapo Vision technology, we'll take Cheapo that beautiful vision. shot of you hanging out on the beach and make it seamlessly appear like you're hanging <laughs> out on an iceberg, worthy of killing Leo and Kate. Oh, Sand for Snow, from the makers of Day for Night Day and for Paxton night. for Pullman. What? Bird meets Dr. Rita Sims and another scientist. <laughs> I that. Mr. Freeze! Ferretzi. Huh. Dr. Charles Ferretzi. Okay, Ferretzi. just chill out. Yeah, right. Well, he can't because he was supposed to be flown out today. And okay. with the engine full of blaster bits, that ain't gonna happen. Sorry, Speaking man. of ain't gonna happen, ain't going Horndog anywhere. Magoo starts hitting on the first hot chick he sees and tries to pun his way into her pants yeah. making jokes about the midnight sun. Are you saying that the sun is never going down on me? The new window doesn't even make sense! What? Strike two, well please. They debrief inside where we meet mean? more of the research station team. Yeah, There's Hart Hansen, a geomorphologist that loves to fly model planes. Yo. And a handyman named... Swackhammer. Swackhammer? What kind of a Swackhammer? stupid name is that, said Zoran Gaboyich. Valerie spews some sciencey gobbledygook saying that the melting ice caps and huh. geothermal hot springs awaken what might be the oldest graboids on the planet. Okay. Like a pre Precambrian. Bert's response sees him pre channeling his great grandfather Hiram. Huh. Come on, it sounds like a bunch of sassafras. Dandy. Bert tells Dr. Sims he thinks the DARPA agents Damn. might be breeding graboids as bioweapons. But before his paranoia oh, yeah. can take further hold, little, Travis interrupts to let them know they've got an ass blaster on campus. Bad news for Ferretzi, who's walking around outside. And even worse news for this nameless guy who oh, drives man. into the movie just to get his head stomped by an ass oh, blaster. The it then cooks up its ass artichoke and carries Wait, the guy away the to guy? kill him off screen. Leaving Ferretzi so scared he tell. may have made a fudgicle in his pants. That tends to happen when heads will roll on the floor. <laughs> a tumble gets put in pants looking like Andrew WK Bad. before taking shelter in a comms tower. But you know how mm. blind he is without his glasses. So wow. he can't see the ass blaster when it tears up the tower and takes out all the communications. Don't the butt bombardier glasses, circles man. back for an attack only to be thwarted by Bert, who gives Ferretzi one hell of a pep talk. My balls are stainless <laughs> steel. My balls are stainless steel. My what? balls are in the Guinness, Guinness Book, Book of, of balls. balls. I picked up my copy at Barnes and No Balls. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. Books are dead. Bert tells Ferretzi to do exactly as he does, which is taken to a comic extreme when Bert has another music video attack. No, no, this allows the ass blaster no, to get the drop on them, no. but you can't get rid of a gummer that easily as he John Woo's the ass blaster oh. onto the hunting log. Guess he wanted to nice. take its ass off. We briefly jump into American Horror Story credits as Bert wakes up in a hospital bed. He just had surgery to remove a tapeworm. And though Travis is concerned, Bert's keeping his late 90s editing sickness close to the vest, which is sitting just over there. Over at the Meltwater Hot Springs, Dr. Silky Dannon, ooh, that's a sexy yogurt name, is pushing some science buttons while the DARPA boys watch. A rumbling causes Dr. Good and Sexy to back up, right into a nest of graboid eggs. No, no, no. She breaks them, sending green eggs, but no ham into the water. I do not like attacks on land. I think it's time these graboids swam. And so we get our first water graboid attack. Though technically they did shoot an entire underwater sequence for Tremors 5, but it was left on the cutting room floor. Too bad, because an underwater Travis can't talk. And we missed out on some of Jamie Kennedy's finest acting. What the hell? <laughs> the Graboid is once again played by a buoy, hearkening back to the old sand hump effect from part one. Oh, it wastes cool. no time grabbing the good doctor and dragging her all around like an Amity Island skinny dipper. Really this was actually an intense stunt involving- Now, someone I just gotta ask, but is, but, uh, wouldn't you mark where the nests are so you don't accidentally, um, do this? 
No, just leave them unmarked so you could accidentally break an egg and kill yourself. Three cables Moron. pulling her in all directions. And it actually freaked out actress Jenna Upton at first. I, you. I didn't know that they were coming with the blood underneath, so when that started happening, I was like, oh my god! But it was a lot of fun. And with all that unexpected blood in the water, we can assume that Dr. Good and Sexy is now good and deady. Back at the research okay. facility, Bert learns that he's been infected with a parasite. What kind of parasite? A graboid kind of parasite. Okay. Ah! What actually is the parasite doing? Apparently, he got it from like getting all poison. up inside that graboid in Tremors 3. And the only cure is to extract some antibodies from a live graboid. So, after naming his favorite Tom Cruise film, Mission Impossible, Bert double checks yeah, that he's okay. not also infected with the thing. All clear. Well, except for this predator penis that grabs another scientist named Dr. D. Dr. Oh, D's another researcher whose fashion sense could be best described as Gila Klein chic. Yeah, but that graboid don't I care, just, as it gratuitously snatches her, then pulls oh. that D straight into its mouth. All this excitement has caused our Iceman to run it across open terrain. But all Hart wants but to do is to. make love to you. So he runs after him and asks, How do I get I'm you not, alone? Uh -huh. Ritzy responds by locking himself in a nearby truck like a real ice hole. A hurt heart <laughs> heads out ice as hole. this underground barracuda goes crazy <laughs> on you, barracuda. truck, with an amazing practical car flip. Hart cool. Edgar deems up a tower while Ferretzi crawls his way from the wreckage, only to be attacked until he's eventually killed off screen. Yep. Looks like hell is about Whoa. to ferretzi Damn. over. <laughs> Did I say that right, you dead dickweed? Everyone else Whatever. regroups for a franchise mainstay planning scene. About damn time! Travis Point and Val, out. mostly Plan. Val, come up with a plan to create an underground electrical fence that should keep the worms out while they go to the hangar and acquire some TNT. Fence. It's dynamite. Okay, huh. planning scene complete. Now let's move on, damn it. The DARPA team has Crap. arrived, somehow avoiding the graboid outside. Bert gets into it All with right. Dr. Cuts, Talk. the head DARPA guy, until the argument is interrupted by a graboid attack! Oh, they fire blindly into the hole until a dirt sneeze gives gives us some grabber tentacles. <laughs> Travis and Bert are able to take two of them out, but good, the third one good. grabs one of the DARPA agents and sucks him into the hole. DARPA yeah. DM sees the dead. Are Wait, I don't think that that's right. Really? Time to get to the hangar, so Travis wrong? takes an ATV yeah. and lights a gas can, knowing that the flames will get Dr. Sims all hot and bothered. Biomechanics are nice. so sexy. First of all, what? biomechanics, study of human movement. Not applying here. And you know what? Um, How is any of this sexy? None of this yeah. sexy. Travis's yeah, stunt I, double I returns, and we get a great shot of a leaping graboid as it noms on the ATV, no. which subsequently explodes in a gooey mess, which no. money shots Hart as he watches from a no. nearby drill tower. All this graboid goo was made by Paul Peters and his effects team, and boy, did they make a oh. lot of it. Created 300 liters of graboid goo. 300 and I think liters? We've used just about every drop. The crew heads to the hangar, but another graboid causes Ooh. them to scatter as we get a callback to the wood plank chase from the first film. Okay. And the Tremors Ooh. 1 riffs continue as Dr. Sims gets snagged by one of the grabbers. Hey, you got me by the pants! So take off your pants! The snake's got a lot of pants. Someone put your pants back on, man! I have neighbors! <laughs> Sims also refuses to join in the pants. <laughs> snake's got me by the pants! So take off your pants! Join the pantless brother! <laughs> For the record, I am wearing pants. Okay, you probably can't see that. I didn't stand up enough, but whatever. I am wearing pants while I record these videos. Pants-free lifestyle, but it's because she's living an even freer way. I'm not wearing any underwear. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, Val and Bert are here to keep this nice. movie PG-13, with a couple of shots that split the grabber in twain. Travis and Sims share a moment over their favorite awesome. movie, Commando, but their ham-fisted romance awesome. is put on hold by another grabber attack. Wait, they need a distraction. Have... So Bert looks to Hart, why who's been pounding deal? energy drinks. Time to take one for the team, Free Willy and let the big dog eat. What does that mean? Oh, God. Oh, no. Hold on, folks. And I'm back. What the More hell? Pee jokes. Oh man, I thought we were oh, past this. And Swackhammer, why is your mouth open? Gross. Oh, Not you, you, Michael. The Piddle Puddle gets the Graboid's attention, and everyone takes the opportunity to head to the what hangar. The Swackhammer starts building the electric fence, but Bert is taken down once again Damn by it. the Graboid parasite partying in his colon. He manages what to get onto a nearby though? rock as the What's Graboid attack gives way to more grabbers. Bert fends one off, and the second one is taken out in a nice cool. practical gunshot from Dr. Sims. Cool. Bert only has enough energy to tell really Travis cool. to fuck off and kills one last grabber 
before collapsing. <laughs> God damn it. Nice. Swaghammer activates the underground electric fence and it successfully stops the incoming cool. Graboid. And with Bert down and out, it's now up to Travis to figure out how to capture this Alaskan bullworm alive. Oh. And he won't get any help from the DARPA dummies whose oh, movement is great. attracted to Graboid that kills two of them oh, and great. causes some explosions. This first guy is eaten great. off screen, while this tasty flaming DARPA pepper is eaten a flambe. The kill <laughs> count graphic wakes up Bert right. and he shuffles oh, cool. over to the hangar while another great practical stunt flips yeah. a nearby DARPA trailer. No idea if anyone was in there though, so nothing to add to the count. How the group starts making that? bombs while Bert angrily asks Travis about where he got his latest rifle. Heather. My oh. wife. Ex-wife, Bert. Yep, the <laughs> HK-91 she took way back in Tremors 2 has returned in the Ooh. hands of Travis. And with the right name this time. Heather. Even though your comments told me that the 41 and awesome. 91 are basically the same gun. Also, there is so much cool. ex-partner talk in these Welpley movies, including Swackhammer, who names the main graboid Sally Soul Smasher after really? an ex of his. She was a dirty man-eating bitch who used to stick her nose where it didn't belong. Oh, nice. All right, I will agree. Awesome name. Uh, now, but I'm kind of worried about the, uh, background of that name. Zora, what do you have to say? Okay, good luck with all that. This That's core extractor drill double clicks its thumbstick to go auto running and Whoa. makes enough noise to bring a secondary graboid around as it begins to lower heart like a shark oh, into shit. a mosasaur tank. The graboid oh, leaps shit. and indulges its Tarantino style foot fetish oh, while the hangar crew shit. attempts to noisily draw the graboid away. Ooh, then Val just all. fucking runs up to the tower and tries to reach heart while a graboid barrels down on them. Dumb, go, painfully dumb. Lucky for her, this little impromptu stomp show somehow works. The graboid heads towards the <laughs> hangar just in time for Swackhammer yeah, to cool. turn the fence on and blow that graboid to kingdom come. Nice. I will say I hate seeing PAs replaced with air cannons, but these graboid explosions are on point. You're Even doing I something right, that. movie. That's That'll cool. close the carpool, man. You ruined nice. it. You ruined everything. After oh. a lackluster oh. callback oh. to the greatest scene in the franchise. You broke into the wrong <laughs> goddamn hangar, didn't you, you bastard? Oh, the generator oh, blows up, oh, meaning oh, the hangar stakes oh, have yeah. just been raised. This, of course, causes Bert to freak oh, out dear. and collapse again. But before they can take him to the infirmary, they see that the DARPA dude can is still alive. But in a spot of trouble, Travis grows a conscience, grabs his swag hammer, and goes to rescue Mr. Cuts while the rest head off to save Bert. Travis Mr. Cuts a deal to fix all of Bert's tax issues. And in exchange, <laughs> he gives Cuts a ladder, which he promptly uses like a wet bandit. <laughs> That ridiculous pratfall triggers Sally Soul Smasher's return. Uh -oh. Though Cuts and Travis head back to the base while Swackhammer reunites with his ex. He chucks Hammer. pipe bombs and dynamites at the creature as a crappy cover of Mustang Sally plays. Get it? Cause her name is it. Sally. But well, this dumb, swack dumb ass dances kid. like he's in the end zone. Bert tries to get back in the game only to be sidelined by Travis. Travis heads out to capture a graboid awesome. and save his ungrateful dad. He puts on the Bert equivalent of Indy's fedora and prepares nice. to take over the franchise by lamely reciting some of Bert's one-liners. My balls are in the Guinness Book of Balls. Yes. God damn it, Bert, you have to live. Please <laughs> Dr. Sims ain't no geologist, but she does have a thing for cosplayers, since awesome. she's all about Travis's new threads. It's a good look for you. Thankfully, Travis restrains nice. from saying anything pervy, and he uses a montage to prep his plan, which involves Mac, her plane, Whoa. and a shipping container to help transport this nidus worm. They use a Newton's cool. cradle to clickety-clack the graboid's attention, and when it heads really? for the hook, Travis attaches the line to the plane you know, in an cradle. actually That's nicely shot sense, slow motion actually. sequence. This graboid in motion remains in oh. motion until it reaches the Newton's cradle, where it's cool. yanked into the air before the line is released in an unbelievably nice. perfect arc right into the that shipping is. container. They then jack into sack Okay. and open the container cool. to reveal our very first practical graboid of the Don Paul trilogy. So for all you Don Tremors Paul. fans who have been asking for yeah, okay. a puppeteered graboid like they had in the original, here he is, cool. or she. Its mobility may be limited Yo, compared is. to the past That's graboids, the but the fact that they out. actually made yeah. a practical worm is nothing to spit at. <laughs> <laughs> Even more fun, that spray was a surprise prank Don Michael Paul played on Jamie Kennedy. Let's be honest, you did that. Was it fun? I had a double load the chip. You did! Now that's double the Jamie the Kennedy cabin. experiment I can get behind. But this practical puppet Gross. doesn't mean we can't still have some CGI tentacles. And this guy named Arklac takes out one of the grabbers with his club. Cool. While the final two are taken out by the only grown up at cool. this sand for snow summer camp, Bert Gummer. Good job, Bert. Why don't you show us a little bit of that Bert Bummer? Out. Wow, oh. I did not need to see 
repeat that! No Earth collapses for like that. the eighth time in this movie. <laughs> so Travis takes a comically large Give syringe chill, and buddy. heads into this Double Dare style graboid slip and slide. Gross. He extracts some anthelmintics from its courage hangy ball and returns to collect his okay. Casio keyboard prize with a Travis level quip. At least the gland wasn't in the prostate. More minutes, <laughs> just and more minutes of Jamie Kennedy in my Tremors movies. At they administer the, the grab to dote and wait to see if it takes effect. I'm sorry, Travis. <laughs> That's it? I'm sorry, what? what do you you, mean? No, you can't kill Bert. No, 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 no. I cannot continue this franchise with this muttgummer who doesn't, you know, Come even on. know a thing about gun safety. That is no way to treat. An HK-91! Oh, thank crap, boy! Bird is, Bird is alive! <laughs> Yay! Okay, I guess Dr. Sims is just awesome. a really shitty doctor for pronouncing him dead earlier. Whoopsie nah. poopsie! Bert takes the reins Someone of the franchise back as the DARPA dudes license. deliver his new tax-exempt certificate. Hell yeah. What the hell? And get a Walter Peck style <laughs> comeuppance. In order to prevent Sally from being used by DARPA as a bioweapon, Bird enlists Hart's RC plane to the Royal Graboid Air Force and blows Boom. Sally up in spectacular fashion. Awesome. And so her soul slides away. But don't look <laughs> back in anger, this Not movie's done to today. Do. Val ensures Bert <laughs> that her dad, Kevin Bacon, will stay at least six degrees away from this franchise. He's not really the dropping in kind of guy, he's more of the barging in type. At least not in this continuity. Yeah, yeah. And why would he want to when gross guys like Travis end up with the girl? Come the movie on. ends super lazily with the exact <laughs> same end line as the last movie. Pops. And strike three, oh, you yeah, are okay, out of there! For Tremors Shrieker <laughs> Island. Did this cold day in oh, hell actually right. heat up our numbers? Let's movie. find out and get Fine. to the- No more fight! <laughs> what the hell? Pocket numbers. Sand. He just pocket sound you. <laughs> pocket sound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ten people died in Tremors A Cold Day in Hell. Seven men and three women, still giving us a mostly frozen pie. All right. With a runtime of 98 minutes, we had a kill on average every 9.8 9 minutes. minutes. Bert's hunting log adds two ass blasters, cool. eight grabber tentacles, cool. and three graboids, cool. including our first practical one of this new trilogy. Cool. Still, it's Total mostly a CGI team. kill on average every 7.5 minutes. Not bad. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to the on-fire DARPA agent. Fire stunts oh, aren't yeah. cheap. Definitely. And then the guy gets eaten afterward? Poor Graboid, too. Probably feels like it ate a pizza bagel just out of the microwave. Yeah. But hey, when pizza's on a bagel, you Bombing can eat people alive. anytime. <laughs> Dol Machete for lamest kill will go to the people who were killed off screen. No Makes fucking sense. surprise. And Bert's hunting trophy goes to the Graboid that blew up on the electric fence. It was a massive, goopy cool. explosion and a great payoff to a classic Tremor-style plan. And that's that's cool. it. Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell came out in 2018 and was not as bad as I remembered yeah, it being, but not still bad. not great. Next week, I'll be finishing up the franchise with weeks. Tremors, Shrieker Island. But until then, I'm a man whose stepdad used to pitch for the Cubs. <laughs> and this has been The Kill Count. And that's where we're going to leave off today's video. Oh, the next time we see these guys will be in two weeks with uh, Tremors, Shrieker Island. And so, I want y'all to remember to like, comment, subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video. So remember to support the original Kratos and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks next time. Have a good one.